part of Group 15 on Mechanical Design 2. And uh, my group project, it's about spur gear selection, applications, and examples. What is a gear? A gear is a rotating machine part from a set of tutor wheels that act together to change the relationship between a driving mechanism. Gears can alter the speed, the torque, and the direction of power. The spur gears are the simplest gears. They are they consist of straight teeth and they're mounted in pedal shafts. They're easy to manufacture and the cost of manufacturing is relatively low. Now I'm going to talk about the design selection of spur gears. In order to select the right material, uh, one must find a grade that can be machined and heat treated with good predictability of distortion. It also has to provide a strong surface to support contact and bending loads. One must use, also use a high nickel plate uh, wherever overloading may occur. And the most important thing is for the material selection to depend on the number of hours that the gear is to set, it's set to operate in its environment. The engineer must uh, concentrate on the design essentials that include the quality of the case microstructure, the material's hardness, the machinability, and most importantly, the cost. The next important thing to do when uh, designing the gear is to look at the teeth design. The teeth must have an acceptable uh, static strength to undertake loads without deflecting to, um, to a greater degree of, than necessary. The made surfaces must be very hard in order to un uh, prevent wear, and the material selection must maximize the teeth's ductility. Hello, my name is Seth Mumbley, and I'll be talking about applications of spur gears. Why should someone use the most commonly used gear? For one, they're easy to install, they're cost effective, and they're very reliable. We use these in applications where we need to transmit power. Uh, we use spur gears in aircraft engines because unlike they're more reliable than helical gears and they're also more cost effective. And play the video please. In bicycles we have a simple gear system that transfers rotational motion from the pedals to the rear wheel, allowing the bike to either go forward or stop. In automotive transmission, we use a spur gear system to transmit power or rotational speed from the engine to the wheels. We need to decrease this power from the engine because the engine operates at speeds faster than the wheel can function at. And in egg beaters, next. this allows the chef to stir the contents of the mixing bowl. Hi, my name is Luis Meza, and I'm going to mention some examples of spur gears. There are several places where we can find this type of spur gear. Since they can be used for forward to increase or decrease the torque, uh, of a given item, for example, washing machine, blender, uh, construction equipment, uh, dryers, or meal, and many others. They are also used to increase the, or decrease the speed of an item. For example, in, in washes, uh, clocks, uh, or in egg beaters. As we mentioned before, uh, spur gear are used in aircraft. Because even though they make too much noise, in aircraft it's not important. Uh, they are used in the propeller reduction unit in certain engines. One example of this is the Garrett PPE 331 is a turbo propeller engine originally designed by Honeywell Airspace in the 1999. It has a two-stage spur system consisting of a small spur gear on the turbine shaft. Driving a large spur gear on an intermediate shaft, which then, and drive a planetary final resolution, which is also implemented with a spur gear. The three. The spur gears in this engine are made of carburized steel. Uh, as we conclude, this will be the best material to be to make these gears because it have a large uh, load capacity and they are they cost less to make them.